Good morning, Hi, Thundermans. Hi, how are you? Hello. How are you guys? <laughs> Good. Well, how are you? I'm great. Listen, greetings from Toronto, Canada. We're getting this uh, this great film on Paramount Plus here. Uh, very exciting. Uh, Rosa, let's just jump in with you. What was it like to be mom to the this motley crew again? <laughs> it, it was amazing. It was literally, the only thing that was weird was initially seeing, you know, uh, people like the six years that has passed. <laughs> like freaking out that Diego is way taller than me. I mean, everyone's way taller than me except Maya. But uh, but yeah, getting over that initial shock. Uh, and then it was like we hadn't left. And and why had had this not been going on the whole time? It was just all it was it was goodness. For sure. I can't even imagine. Okay, so Diego, let's let's go to you because yes, I think the, the biggest transition is probably you and Maya, like because you were so little. And then whoa, yeah. what happened? You know, like life yeah. happened. But when you I still had a bowl cut. Yeah, exactly, right? And then <laughs> you okay, so you come back, you all reunite. Take me back to that first day because not only are you all seeing each other and working together again, they recreated the freaking sets for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. they did. It was um it was surreal. I mean, it, it was uh it was like walking back into like a like a time portal, you know, and like being back on Paramount too was so great because it, um, we just knew the lot so well and it, it just felt like home. Yeah, for sure. That makes it very comfortable for you, of course. It's like you never left, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. So Jack, um, for you to come back, of course, you're reuniting, not just with everybody, but with your your twin played by Kira, of course. Um, was it like, you know, look, I knew you guys had been friends from before. So had you kept in touch over the years? And what was it like to just be back to work together and have that, you know, that simpatico that you guys have? Uh -huh. That's a great question. Um, you know, Kira, Kira and I really do have a very special relationship. Um, like you mentioned, we were actually friends before the show. And obviously, we did the show together. And, you know, we were with each other every waking minute for six years. And uh, we, we while we did, you know, keep in touch over the years, we really did, like, take some time when we didn't talk to each other. You know, we, we almost, like, needed, like, a break. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, but we we would you know check in on each other through throughout the years and uh, I'd see her around um, you know at at get-togethers and things like that and um, and then when we got the news about the the movie possibly happening I think it was like fall of 2020 21 we right. sort of started like talking to each other again you know I, I took her out to lunch and I really wanted to like make it like make it. Uh, clear that I really was trying to, you know, re reconnect in, in, in a major way so we can yeah. kind of have that that bond again after we took, you know, so many time off of our relationship and, you know, see see if it was still there. Um, and it really was, you know, and, and then once we got to set, you know, everything just just fell into place so so nicely. I mean, you know, like Diego said, I think we're all a little nervous at first, um, seeing how how we would all work together and but, you know, we all pretty much look the same and we all feel the same and we all love each other just so much. And we just love yeah. our show so much that uh, it was um, it was easy. And, uh, you know, me and Kira have grown a lot as people. And I think that now we're able to give even more uh, to these characters. And uh, I, I only hope to be able to keep doing it. Yeah, it, it is so much fun. And and Rose, I want to ask you, why do you think audiences just connected with this family, this show so much? Because this movie is very much anticipated by fans. Yeah, it's been unbelievable, the response, uh, not only from the reruns, but then the hype about this movie's coming out. Um, I Honestly, I think it's the writing. I think it's uh, Jed Spinger, three-time Emmy Award winning. Uh, he's he's the creator, executive producer. It's his baby. And the yeah. writing, like when I rewatched even recently, the reruns, I'm laughing. I'm by myself in my living room. It's, you know, laughing um, at yeah. the writing. So I think that's it. And then I also think, for whatever reason, the chemistry was palpable. Every fan has their favorites. They sure. relate to, you know, uh, wh whoever. And I mean, I think there's something for everyone. Um, I, th I think that's why. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to credit the writer. 
Mm -hmm. Well, aside from the being a superhero family, they are pretty relatable. I agree with you on that, on that for sure. And the, and you're right that it is really funny. Like I find myself laughing at the stupidest things. I can't imagine. Okay. So Diego, when you're shooting a, a scene, how do you guys keep it together and not crack up all the time? We do. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, no, I feel, I think we just kind of get it out during rehearsal probably. Yeah. So then once like we finally start shooting, we uh kind of know what's coming. I think. Yeah. But sometimes we get uh rewrites on the day and they'll come up and sneak it to us and catch the other actors off guard and we laugh. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to see the blooper reels on, on this show. I think they will be a lot of fun to watch. Like, you know, <laughs> something that we need to see okay so jack one the other thing i need to know and all from all of you but jack first getting back into the super suit now i give you all credit that you still all fit in and look great in them so come on jack how was it putting on that super suit what was it like well i think i first in the fittings put on the old super suit um and that was crazy uh because i it was just like i was looking at myself in like a time portal of like six years ago and you know from 20 to 26 is just you know such big years and for all for all of us it just feels yeah. like so much time has passed um but it was nostalgic and then we 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 have the new ones and the new ones yes. were so cool and they were like building it while like it was like still on us for like two or three months guys something like that um and the new ones are just like way cool like way cooler um and, and you know the old ones are kind of just what we're used to so so that was nice but like we so we had like the old thing and like that nice comfortable old thing but we have like the new toy almost and so we were wondering how much we were gonna wear of both uh you know if it was gonna be more of the new and less of the old or vice versa um oh whoops but, that's okay that's okay <laughs> but uh but yeah it was ex the super suits were one of the most exciting parts for all of us i think especially the new ones you yeah. know having a new material a new look to it was was really cool yeah well listen this this movie is a lot of fun um thank you guys for coming back and bringing it back for the fans and and you know let's hope we'll just continue more you know adventures with the thundermans but thank you so much for the for your time this morning for the three of you and best of luck with uh with the film thank you, thank thank you. you okay good morning bye-bye have a good one